Hello everyone! Are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and hey, it's my birthday! It's 420, so I decided to celebrate a little bit by playing one of my favorite games of all time, Day of the Tentacle. Now, obviously, I usually play whatever game I want to, but because it's my birthday, I'm, it is going to be a longer than usual video. This is absolutely one of my favorite games of all time. If you ever wondered where the purple in Purple Wookie came from, it comes from Day of the Tentacle. It does not come from the color purple, which I actually don't have that many... Um, feelings about the color purple but let's go into it no um i hope you like it i'm gonna play until i feel like i've had enough so sit back and enjoy you don't have to worry about me being funny because this game is funny if you've never played day of the tentacle enjoy the story I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take the world. Hmm, poor green tentacle. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to <laughs> Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple tentacles mutated into an insane <laughs> genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I do like that he starts his letter with, How are you? Purple tentacles decided to take over the world. <laughs> I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now I know that I must go back to the mansion. So yeah, if you don't know, this is actually a sequel to another game called um, Maniac Mansion. And Day of the Tentacle is the sequel. Um, Maniac Mansion is also pretty good, but I prefer Day of the Tentacle. Because there's no insta-death uh, situations. Yeah, and this is also by written by Tim Schafer, the same dude who did Psychonauts and a bunch of other extremely good games. Brutal Legends. Brutal Legends. Brutal Legend. Uh, Broken Age. Uh, he's working on Psychonauts too, obviously. Big fan of Double Fine as well. I love Double Fine. It's good music too. This is a very good remaster. He also worked on a bunch of the other Lu uh, Lucas uh, Lucas Arts uh, point and clicks like uh, Grim Fandango. Uh, motorcycle game that I cannot full throttle. There you go. And I think he he didn't do the like I think it's someone else, but he did help in Monkey Island. I think is that the way it goes. He might have done some writing for Monkey Island, but not a lot of it or something. Maybe coding. I might have been a Ron Gilbert is the actual guy I think behind uh, uh, Monkey Island, the original. Yeah, Ron Gilbert has one. Those are the two names I always remember: Tim Schafer and Ron Gilbert, or Gilbert.
Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Where could it be? All right, here's the actual controls now. Walk to confirm. Okay. Flyer. Well, that Flyer. one looks like it's from a local hardware store. No, not use. Go flyer. Let me see, can I... Where's the look at? The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff! Toast is now playing the Binding of Isaac. Help wanted. Lab assistant. Hard-working moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma. Not required. That's a good ass job. Pick up. Alright. Let me see. Can I. I want to see I can't. No, I have to go here, if I remember right. Dime? Pick up dime. Okay. I think I want to pick it up. I want to see the animation it's for it. It's stuck to the floor. Okay, so I want to. It's not in a wrapper. So I can't. Okay. Now I have to go into my inventory. Go here. I have to use dime. I'd rather not. No, okay. Going to... Go all the way around. Perfect. Nope, nothing. Use door. Go to door. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Well, I have that now. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. <laughs> You can look at the calendar. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Use phone. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. So yeah, you can be, that's half the fun of the game. It's just kind of- Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Different. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. I think I can. The safe is closed. I don't know the combination. Mm. Go to desk drawer, use desk drawer. Boo boo will be gone, I will pick that up. Leave. So I know what to do next, I'm just not doing it yet. I think I can chuck the plant. Hello. I can't touch it, it's spiny. A horticultural horror. Go through the door. door. Laverne's covering that territory. Hoagie's got that part of the house. I'd rather not. Honestly, there is a way for me to get this dime off right now, but I'm not remembering how. Maybe if I... Hmm. 
No, I don't think I can open it right now, so I won't bother. All right, this is where we go. Aha, a secret passage. This is all too easy. <laughs> Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Upstairs. Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any <laughs> tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Speaking okay, of that you're stupid. free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! To the time machine! <laughs> this is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! Bernard. The Chronogen! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. <laughs> Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh god, I love how you so much. Jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. <laughs> <laughs> 
Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? Help? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plan. <laughs> Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Okay. So I think now... Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs! It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! I've got the plans. Quick, <laughs> we have to flush them to Hoagie. When, How weren't did you, you get upstairs? over there? No. My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them. Yes! Down the toilet. No, through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? <laughs> Dr. Fred, can you hear me? She is caught up in that underwear. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. <laughs> Time for me to save the world, oh, I guess. Perfect. Now I can switch between the two. Open the outhouse. I'd rather use a tree. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Huh, this door appears to be locked. I should plug that into the super battery. Mmm, kumquats. I don't wanna. Whilst. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. If I think I can go over here this way, I think over here is Benjamin Franklin. Yep. If you think I'm something to look at now, just wait! Hi there, mister. Franklin, Ben Franklin, soon to be known as the inventor of electricity. 
Uh, do you know Red Edison? He's a scientist guy, too. Red Edison? A scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist. And yeah, he's exactly not very Dr. good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his inn of all places to write our Constitution. Shouldn't you say, the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! Huh. I, Ben Franklin, I'm going to summon power <laughs> from the sky by sheer force of genius. You are truly whacked, Ben. Huh, that's what they said about the man who invented bifocals. Wasn't that you? Good point. Guess they were right. I wonder what Red would say about that. Who cares about that crackpot? Well, I need Red to help me save humanity. So he's a missionary now, eh? <laughs> well, why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. So where's this Red guy at? Down in his secret lab, of course, neglecting his guests. What's so bad about Red? What can you say about a guy who spent the last four years perfecting a left-handed hammer? He's insane! And he steals other people's inventions, too, before they can even apply for the patent! Huh. Not that I'm bitter. Just like Thomas Edison. Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Hmm, the hundred dollar guy. Not bad. Well, see ya. Carry on! Good talking to you, Ben Franklin. It's totally covered with crud. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Mommy. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. Do you know where I could find him? Great hat, man. I dig the three-corner idea. It's like the pyramids, you know? <laughs> I heard pyramids are supposed to have weird energies. Far out. Well, nice talking to you, dude. What is it? <laughs> you look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? 
I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. It must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a piece of paper that will stick to things by itself. Rather ingenious, if I must say so myself. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. All right. It's covered with plans and junk. Go here. Now, whatever that is, bring it here. Mmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Wait, let me take the lab coat. I think I can take the lab coat. Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Hey! What is it this time? Oh, I think I'll be moseying along now. Well, don't mosey over anything breakable on your way out. Yo. Hello. What's up, you What's cold? What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. He's going to give the log to starving children? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. <laughs> What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a, 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 a writing the. We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. Wimp. Damn, hung a chin already. Why don't you have some hot coffee? Oh, I can't stand coffee. It makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the walls. Whoa, I can relate. <laughs> well, please don't do it around here. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any um, amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any b brilliant ideas. What about free sandwiches for all roadies? No, there's no such thing as... Don't say it, dude. I've heard it before. <laughs> How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. That's where your joints hurt, right? All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c c crazy over guys with a big signature. Well, I gotta go, dude. Let me see. They don't seem to have gotten too far. Hey! 
Hey, keep your hands off that. Hey, keep your hands off that. Go to hell, Thomas Jefferson. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas, my name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. And that log's half the size of it. Dude, is that like THE Constitution? Right now it's just A Constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? I like the we the people part. That's not in the Declaration of... Say, that's not bad. Maybe we can use it. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log and I'm saving it for posterity. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's talk to George Washington. He look looks oddly familiar. I've got to look at. If I had a nickel for every time I've seen that face... Must have poor circulation. Just talking shit right in front of him, man. John Hancock Excuse gave no me. respect in the year yes. 2021. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hogan. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. <laughs> Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Depends on how many cherry trees you chop down. Well, I am quite the adept tree cutter. Men still tell tales of my youthful prowess. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Do you really have wooden teeth? As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. Wow, what do you brush them with? I use a toothbrush, much like everyone else. And a bit of wood polish, of course. Doesn't that taste awful? Not if you take them out first. Don't you have a problem with splinters? I've been to war, boy. No one who's heard the thunder of musket fire, smelled the sulfur from a cannon blast, and felt the fear in the hearts of his comrades is going to be bothered by a little thing like, ah, oh, lost it. What about termites? What about termites? Hardly. 
my Uncle Henry has false teeth too. Fascinating, I'm sure. What are you looking at out there? The future of our nation. That young couple by the tree? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Striking, aren't I? <laughs> Such a dick. Gee, I gotta go now. Alright, so we need to get George Washington to chop down a cherry tree, but... Whoa! We ain't time for that yet. Boing. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Very Spartan. Very Spartan. Where am I gonna put it? It's already open. Founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm no marble <laughs> delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I'm sure that's terribly amusing. Where <laughs> I thought you're it was from? fucking funny. <laughs> Where exactly did oh, I you love this game from? so much. It's a shame that I'm not really saying much, but the, real, the realization is I just I can't really sit remember. back and enjoy I'm it. I'm on the road a lot. Oh, the road. Wait a second. What's that noise? I believe it's the road calling your name right now. I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? Big, dumb people. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Man, what a dick. I can talk to that horse too, by the way. I'm just not at the moment. Oh, there's also Max. Let me just look at the portrait from Sam and Max. The late Max Addicts. His petard runneth over. 
a lamentable fate for such a patriotic dude. Thinking here is the key. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Gosh, I never want to mess with history. So I have to drop a pattern there later, but not right now. I don't understand that technical stuff. I don't quite see how it can fly. Oh, I'd only mess it up. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. All right, I need that soap for later. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Sorry, I'm saving it. I don't wanna. I can't open it. Open the door. Pick up the bucket. Pick that up. all sudsy now. Nothing to clean in here. Now go outside. And now it cleans it up. Dum -de -dum. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? 
Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. I'm pretty sure I have to go to where his room is. Yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic, I'm just a horse. <laughs> I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? <laughs> yeah, if you want to put it that way. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Well, I gotta go. See you later. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've gotta put them somewhere. Gonna put it. Where am I gonna put it? like the cat's caught a moose up there. Take mine now. I had to do all that just to get a uh, squeaky mouse toy. I feel like I'm forgetting an item. I know where it is, I think. I think it's back at the workshop. I have to replace the mallet with a left-handed mallet. But I thought it was up there, but maybe I was wrong it is down here the entire time. Yeah, there it is. Picking that up. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. For my ungrateful slob of a left handed son. Oh, well. Now we go back up. Go up the 
stairs. No, not... Go here. Wait for it. Oh no! I've lost it! <laughs> Where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? Ah. I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Yeah, and we'll need that for a future puzzle where we push her out of the of the building, I think, if I remember right. Alright, there's one more thing that we need to do, and then I can call it a video. Go over here. Come on, Hoagie. Move faster. Almost there, buddy. Okay. Now we use the red paint with the kumquat tree. Go back inside the inn and talk to Mr. Washington. Excuse me. Yes? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Huh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said come down from there at once! <laughs> Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. And now she's playable. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. And with that, I think that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. 
Uh, honestly, I could play the entire game, <laughs> and there's, I think, only, I think it's not very long, it's only a four-hour game, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do this for Sundays and just make very long Day of the Tentacle videos, but I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for indulging me on my birthday. I'll see you guys in the next video, the next adventure, whatever it may be. Until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day. Peace out.